So I know it still feels like a million years away, but summer eventually is on its way. And we will finally, finally get to break out our shorts and bathing suits and then show up a lot more leg. Yeah. Legs looking long and lean uh, is Manuel Osteopath to the Stars, Liza Egboga. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. So, Liza, you say that lengthening our legs and improving the tone can help to make our legs appear longer and leaner. How is that possible? Absolutely. So, when your muscles are tight as a result of trauma or tension, it actually makes them look more contracted and thicker. So, by elongating them and stretching them, you create a longer and leaner appearance to the leg as well. Wonderful. Okay, you know what? Cellulite is inevitable. I have it. You probably have it. Everybody. It's too late for us. Too late for us. However, are there ways to camouflage it? Yeah, so you can actually decrease the appearance of cellulite, although it may be temporary, it still has lasting effect. So what cellulite is, is when the fascia, which is the connective tissue in your body, gets weakened, little areas of the underlying fat can burst through, and that's what creates some of that dimpling or orange peel or cottage cheese appearance. So if you can improve the integrity of that fascia by improving the levels of collagen, then you're going to have less of that dimpling effect. To improve the production of collagen, you want to improve circulation and that's what we do with myofascial release. Speaking and of smooth which, things out. Smooth things out. <laughs> Can you smooth me out? Yeah, we're going to try. Hey, let's do it. We're going to get to those exercises in a second, but since you mentioned it, you happen to have a table here. Yes. What and can so I do? Not only are we going to smooth things out, but we're also going to decrease water retention because when you have more water retention, yeah. it's going to make things look puffier. So by improving lymphatic drainage, we're going to help to move some of that fluid out. So I'm going to look start out, that Lainey, with, look out. Out with, with some chopping, what you, okay? What do you mean? Like, <laughs> That's going to get the blood flowing and get things moving. And next, we want to smooth things out. So, but to do this, I'm doing some rolling of the fat. Ow! Oh my God, <laughs> Liza! What is happening down there? So you can, you can even feel that some of that crunchiness or some of those adhesions in the fascia are essentially being rolled away and smoothing things out and also boosting circulation at the same time. Can we do your hamstrings too? Are you going to do my butt? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, I'm scared, I'm scared. We're doing some more. <laughs> to actually release those adhesions of the fashion, get things moving, there has to be a little bit of pain. Okay, well, there it is. All right. that. Okay. Woo. Um, now, if you don't have Eliza at home doing the chopping and the massaging, you say that another great way to work on our legs is with foam rolling? Yes. Okay, so what does that do? What foam rolling does is it's a type of myofascial release. So that same kind of rolling we're doing, you get some of that effect where you're breaking up the fascia, you're also improving circulation, and you're lengthening contracted muscles with the foam rolling. Let's do so it. Those are all great things we want to do. Okay. And it has to reduce leg pain too. Okay. So, okay. We're going to take That's our foam, foam rollers. Roller. Okay. Go. By the way, okay. before we get going, Liza, you can get these in different densities. Can you Absolutely. Not? So the, the black ones are the harder one. And so that if you're more advanced and you've been rolling for a while, you can use the black ones. Okay. But if you're just starting out or if you're... <laughs> If you're elderly or if you don't have that much mu muscle mass or fat, you probably want to use a lighter one like yes. the white one. So that's the starter one. I'm right. the baby okay. one. Baby. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to roll out our hamstrings. You're going to be sitting and you're just going to place the foam rollers under your hamstrings. Mm -hmm. You're going to place your palms on the mat with your fingers facing forward. So the more surface area you have on the mat, the better. And then you're just going to roll. So with Ooh. foam rolling, you are literally rolling. And so this should feel good. And you want to put as much oh, weight yeah. as you can into the foam roller. And you can feel some of those adhesions breaking up. And it should actually feel like a nice massage. This How's is quite feel? nice. I've, I've been rolling for a while, but the very first time that I did, it was actually painful. It felt great afterwards, but the first time, it does actually, it feels quite intense. Which is good. Yeah, and which is a good thing. And now we also want to roll the calves. So okay. to do that, we just roll the, put the foam rollers down. We want it under the meaty part of our calves. And again, we are just rolling. 
rolling. Oh, that's good. This oh. is good for the. Right, yeah. And um, you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. The great thing about rolling out your calves is it's also great for helping reduce foot pain as well. This so it's great. a win-win and it makes your calves look better. This okay, is great. next we want to roll our quads. Okay. Okay. So this time we're flipping around and you're going to place the foam roller at, the, at your knees and then we're going to roll right on it. Palms, Oops. fingers facing forward. Oh, good. <laughs> And then you're using your upper body to roll you back and forth. And at the same time, you're actually getting a core workout. Oh, yeah. So you're rolling. Feel that. And you get your core. Woo. I there we go. You guys are still rolling. <laughs> this is nice. All right. Enough job. <laughs> all right. Let's get to some yoga poses. Yes. For lengthening and leaning out. So let's start with uh, the standing split. Yes, so with the standing split, what we're going to do <laughs> is you're going to step forward into a lunge. Then you're going to place your hands beside your feet. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to bring up the leg. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can take one hand behind and pull yourself down. Did you guys do it? Uh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not. Okay. Lunge. Okay. Lunge. Lunge. Hands beside your feet. Okay. And then kick the back leg up. Oh, okay. Man. Perfect. Oh. With this exercise, you're stretching out the back of your hamstring while you're working the muscles in the leg that's raised up. So are you doing well? I'm not doing well. <laughs> I'm not doing well. Not I can only barely are you keep this leg straight. I can't do it. You, you are. You're doing are a you great job. So you're strengthening and you're stretching at the same time. Okay, I've never perfect. I've sweat over stretching before. <laughs> okay. okay. Next up, we're going to do something that we've never heard before. Uh, the awkward pose. The awkward pose. We're yes. never awkward when we pose. <laughs> um, so try and make us awkward. Okay. So what you're doing with this one is you're going to be up on your toes with your arms stretched out forward. Okay. Okay, good. And then we're slowly going into a squat while maintaining our fresh our toes. And you see why they call it the awkward pose. Okay. This feels real sexy, how, Liza. How, how long do you hold for? Ideally, you want to hold it for 30 seconds. Okay. And then you want to slowly come back up. So as you could feel with that Ooh. one, you are really working your quads, but also working, yeah, yeah, working the arches in your feet. So what happens is if you can strengthen the arches in your feet, it's going to bump you up. So it's like you have a natural, natural heel. lift. Natural heel. Ex heel. Exactly. Yes. And so that elongates everything in your legs. Love that. We got one last pose left. It's called yes. the toppling leg lift. Yes. So for the toppling leg lift, what you're going to do is you're going to have your arms over your head. You're going to step forward. And then you're going to bring your leg up. Once you form a T, then you're just going to lift your leg. And you want to do about 10 of these leg lifts. Ooh, that's hard. All right, perfect. That yes. is all bouté. How the leg? Bouté, gorgeous. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Liza. Good job. ready for summer and we're going to have all of these exercises and poses for you uh, to see again at the social.ca right after the show. So see you on the other side. Don't go anywhere.